check in with Heather Lake. She's live in Kearney Mesa this morning. This is when you teach them, right? Oh, yeah. So here's the deal is that these students, not only are they learning to start their own businesses, but they're also learning how to build things. You know, a lot of us now, our kids just don't know how to use like iPads and iPhones, but instead, we're doing battle bots. They built their own robots. They had this project. Um, the, <laughs> the principal here, Neil McCurdy, he said, you know what? Before we go to spring break, we need something really special for the students to work on, right? Yeah. So um, this is our off season, and we decided that, uh, you know, we've got students who are super excited about, about building robots, first of all, and we wanted to. To try to uh, get them to actually do something a little bit more and actually have the, the robots battle each other. Wait, you said off season because there's an on season like football for robotics, right? Yeah, so there's a there's a regular season. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so there's a regular season for robotics, and then we've got uh, uh, battle bots here uh, where the, the robots are actually designed to try to actually hurt each other. And so we've got kind of a defensive robot um, uh, that the camera's on right now. We've got our offensive robot that's got a saw on it, and uh, so this was actually a lot of fun. They actually built this in in two weeks. We that didn't take very system. long. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! Seriously? Okay, so the kids must have the students. Sorry, I keep calling them kids because they're young but very bright minds. But you all built this as well, correct? Yeah, so we built the structure. So basically, we had two weeks. We built the structure, uh, and the structure originally was not going to be this involved. But once I started hearing about their plans, have putting a saw blade on it, I knew that we had to have something a little bit more. Um, a little bit more uh, safe for the uh, to make sure we didn't hurt any of our other students. And besides having the blast walls, also helps out, out a lot because we've got other uh, you know science projects. We launch rockets. We wanted to make sure we had a blast shield to protect our students uh, when this. How happens. fun is this school? So um, and people at home don't know this is part of San Diego Unified School District. So it's a charter school and it's called the School of Entre or for Entrepreneurship and Technology. Technology. Uh, it's such a long name, but for <laughs> short, it's SET yeah. Set School. And a lot of students who are going here, they're learning from the moment they walk. Walk in, not which college they're going to go to, but what career they're going to have. Yeah, exactly. So um, we do have uh, an emphasis on uh, uh, both the entrepreneurship and technology. <laughs> sorry, sorry. To... <laughs> You're not distracted, are you? Not, no? no, not at all. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> You know what's really neat, though, is is not only are they getting to do what works for them. You know, some students walk in here and they're like, I don't want to learn from a textbook. So instead, you get to build a robot and figure out math, science, and technology, all from having a battle bot battle you know, destruction, crazy thing happening here. Uh, I know there's a lot of craziness going on, but a lot of students showed up this morning, and I want to say hi to everyone. Hey, guys, turn around and wave. You're on TV. Hi. Yeah, everyone, really smart, smart minds in here. They're like, they get into school, and they're all, like, playing the piano, and this is a very different campus than what I'm used to seeing. Yeah, I mean, this is a, a great school, a uh, great vibe. I love the students here, uh, so I encourage, you know, anyone who's interested in, in uh, entrepreneurship, technology, or just preparing themselves for the future, I encourage them to sign up for our school. Uh, we forgot our safety goggles, by the way. Are you guys having fun? You, cr uh, you guys are losing really bad. Yeah, well, yeah I mean, was, we, we didn't have much time to get it back working, so it's gone. It's going to be all right, though. Yeah. You, you can rebuild it. That's the, the cool thing about BattleBots is these guys know what to do, so they can just rebuild the robot. Uh, good job for the team over here because you won. You have the crazy, what is that on the, on the end? That's just a circular saw. Yeah. Oh, just uh, a no. circular saw, Heather. No big deal. Okay, uh, I'm going to send it back to you guys in the studio. Raul, you got Battle Bots. There Dude. you go, all on the Fox 5 Morning News. Battle Bots. <laughs> Look, at Look at that thing. Are you kidding what? me? Well, that one with the, with the circular saw, man, they're out to do some damage. That's pretty good. And then the, what about the weight, weight class? Shouldn't there be a weight class issue here? This one on the right is kind of bigger. Was well, it was a was quick spring break project, so I don't yeah. know if they were worried about weight class. All right. Oh, look at this. Go, go, go. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Get in there. Get into the specifics there, Raul. Yeah, I know. Get in there. <laughs> I'm fascinated oh. by this. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> hey, watch out. <laughs> 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 Whoop, boop, 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 boop. Thank you, Heather.